Good morning. This is Agashwani Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Voting for the open local bodies ULP elections in the state is taking place today. This is the first ever municipal elections in Nagaland with 33% reservation for women with the last ULP election held in 2004 without the reservation. Polling is taking place in 420 polling stations under 214 wards spread across three municipalities and 21 town councils. A total of 523 candidates are in the fray with the youngest candidate, a 22-year-old female contesting in Pandari ward 1, while the oldest candidate is an 81-year-old man in Chazuba ward 5. Earlier 64 candidates had already been declared elected on a post. For voter identification, the State Election Commission has said electors can carry any government issued identification document such as ATAR, ban card, driving license and others. State Election Commissioner T. John Longomer has appealed to all electors to actively participate in the ULB elections today. Expressing satisfaction at the overall preparation undertaken for the polls, the SEC extended appreciation to all election machinery involved in the process. It also acknowledged the various NGOs and tribal bodies for joining in the appeal for a fair and peaceful election. The commission said it is continuously monitoring poll related activities in all participating municipal municipal and town councils and will take appropriate legal action against anyone vitiating the peace atmosphere. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi will be the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha. Party General Secretary KC Venugopal said Congress Parliamentary Party Chairperson Sonia Gandhi had written to Pro Tem Speaker Pardru Hari Mehta informing of the decision. Meanwhile, the oath taking process by newly elected MPs in the 18th Lok Sabha completed yesterday. Further, election for the post of Lok Sabha Speaker is scheduled today while President Draupadi Murmu will address the joint sitting of the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha on Thursday. Nagaland Governor Larkanesan yesterday presented a citation to NCC Directorate North Eastern Region NER at Raj Bhavan in recognition of its contribution to the development of the youth of the state. Speaking at the event, the governor said NCC NER has consistently showcased its prowess in developing well-rounded individuals and the award is a testament to its unwavering dedication, discipline and exemplary service. He said the organization's efforts in developing valuable human capital instilled with a sense of purpose, camaraderie and discipline is a push towards realizing the vision of developed India by 2047. La Ganesan commended the officers and instructors who have led with vision and integrity. Loading the cadets, he said, the award reflects their hard work, perseverance and spirit of unity. The governor also acknowledged the accomplishments of cadets from Nagaland, particularly in recent years, saying they have inspired not only their peers but also the communities they serve. He urged the gadgets to continue to drive towards greater heights and lead with unwavering integrity. The governor also appreciated the steadfast support rendered by the Youth Resources and Sports Department to NCC in the state. Additional Director General NCC NER Major General Gagan Deep received a citation on behalf of the directorate. A state level workshop on promotion of scientific cattle production in Nagaland was held at Mitsufema yesterday. The workshop was organized by ICAR Central Institute for Research on Cattle Mirud and ICAR National Research Center on Mitun Mitsufema in collaboration with Dimabu District Cooperative Milk Producers Union Limited Dimul. Gracing the event as chief guest, adviser for animal husbandry and veterinary, Kajedo Ginimi termed the workshop as an essential initiative for discussion and raised issues such as low yield of local cattle, high cost of elite crossbreed cattle and easing management of production at farmers level. He also called for conserving the local indigenous cattle Tuto on the frequent outbreak of African swine fever in Nagaland. which is causing economic losses the adviser urged adg animal health icar new delhi to expedite a preventive measure
The event concluded included technical sessions and farmer scientist interaction. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.